I'm down at Monticello today and uh, I got a I got a few things I'm gonna try like I always do on like I'm always trying different things uh, of course today I'm gonna try out I don't know if you've ever heard of the uh, Nichols jigging spoon two ounce jigging spoon so stay tuned I've had uh, I've had several people ask me how do I how do I fish deep or how do I go about finding fish deep and it's pretty simple um, and I'm gonna show you on my graph in a minute I'm gonna show you on a spot that I don't fish a lot I got some waypoints on it but I don't fish it that often um, what I do typically is um, I go out after I launch my boat and I just pull away from the ramp and uh, I may uh, look at the ramp or drive somewhere nearby where I'm gonna be fishing and and I get in deep water and I just try to get an idea where the shad are, the shad are. and uh, right now uh, I've already looked and found shad suspended and these are big balls of bait uh, they were from around 42 all the way up to 36 feet that one ball of bait and so I'm going to kind of uh, target at that 38 40 foot range and what I'm doing now is I'm I'm just pulled up on a on a, a hump out in the middle of the lake it's basically an underwater island and I'm going to fish the points off that hump because the hump comes up real shallow I'm targeting that deep water and the hump comes up around 15 feet and so I'm going to show you on my map what I'm doing on the depth finder uh, what I'm doing is I'm just going to idle over this spot and uh, you can see I have the the target area depth that I'm searching uh, colored and so I know the outside perimeter of that line is the target depth that I'm I'm looking at and basically all I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to go over top of it and see if I see any fish and what we have right here we got we got uh, shad this is shad right here they're hugging tight to the to the bottom we've got some white perch uh, white perch tend to spread out uh, you'll also have some bass get down there and all that too uh, holding close to the bottom and uh, I'm just gonna go I've got my shortcut key set right uh, we're just gonna go over top of the uh, end of this it's in 30 feet of water and I'll start a little bit shallower than I'm, than what I'm actually looking for because I want to see if they're up higher than the target depth that I'm looking at or if they're deeper and so I'm gonna go over top of this I want to spin the boat around I'm gonna kind of go out on the end maybe do a S, some S turns and uh, and that's basically what I'm gonna do and took all my braid off the damn reel i think it's down there quick too that's what i like about it you know the bass like a flutter spoon i like fishing with a flutter spoon but what i like about this two ounce jigging spoon is it gets down quick and that's what the bass really actually are wanting right now um i i thought that it might have been the size of the spoon so i started throwing a little jigging spoon and then i quickly realized it was not the size because I went down to a smaller flutter spoon and it wasn't that it's the the fast fall of that of that jigging spoon gets it more of a reaction strike than the flutter spoon that falls a lot slower and I'm using this two ounce spoon I will typically throw a spoon on a on monofilament or a iser line which is a, a monofilament with a fluorocarbon coating so, copolymer and um but uh i usually throw it on a monofilament or a copolymer line but because i'm using this heavy jigging spoon it, you got so much stretch out there so far and i'm fishing 40 foot of water 35 to 40 foot of water it's so hard it falls so fast it's hard to keep up with it with a control slack and uh just a lot of stretch in it when i'm pulling it back up so what i'm doing is what I'm doing is I'm throwing it on braid with a 20 pound liter of monofilament, uh, big game. So I got a swivel tied on. Here's what I got. I've got I've got a swivel tied on on my braid, 65 pound Power Pro with a 25 uh, with a 20 pound monofilament. 
hooked to my nickel jigging spoon. And um, what I like, and it seems to be working. But of course, I may change after I use it a lot longer. I've only started using this recently. So if you're looking to catch some bass out deep, you need to look into buying one of these big jigging spoons that Nichols offers. They make, some, they make a lot of good spoons, uh, the flutter spoons especially, I love them. Um, I've tried to fish the magnet spoon out here. Uh, not that they won't eat it, but I have better success with the, uh, the smaller spoons, the four and five inch flutter spoons, shattered, the shattered glass pattern. And, um, and then, uh, of course, I got the new mini mag spoons. trying them some but it's almost too late for that here right now these bass are they start off with a crankbait you know they move out deep right after the spawn and uh you know when i say deep this lake's a real deep fishing lake when I, you know like some lakes deep might be 10 feet 15 feet this lake is you start talking deep you're talking 20 feet and beyond and so they'll start off bite the crankbait after the spawn in that 15 to 20 foot range and then the, they'll start to transition to the crankbait and the flutter spoon combined and they're in the 25 to 30 foot range and then they start moving out to that 30 to 40 foot range and the flutter spoon bite starts to disappear and they want that jigging spoon but they still want to present it sideways you know hopping it off the bottom back toward the boat and then a 55 foot range which is what's going to happen in about another couple weeks to a month you got to be right over top of them with the jigging spoon and uh, then they'll actually quit drop, bite, biting that all together you got to throw a um, Texas rig worm or a drop shot and, and you're out there just catching super deep there he is and that's a white perch bite Perch. <laughs> just got fighting real hard. Nice little white perch. Magnum jig and spoon, and jig and spoon. Old tub, Old tub. Talking about a big old bass. Second one. Look at that one. Another good one. Got him. Jigging spoon. 